Body and Soul's Life in My Shoes exhibition invites you to step into the shoes of some of the most marginalised young people in the UK. People like me. People with HIV are innocent and society can sometimes treat them as though they're guilty. I think it's very important to get away from that stigma. What really captured our imagination was the exhibition and the way that it was going to be put together and we saw it as being very engaging and just a great way to raise people's awareness of the Body and Soul charity. Uh, this is a fantastic yeah. place to walk along and to be part of London. And if one little kiddie runs along and looks in there and says, Mummy, Mummy, what's all this about? It's great. Great. Anyone who walks past here is going to be curious and is going to look in at something that's actually really cool and interesting, but at the same time, inspirational and educational. The exhibition is absolutely beautiful. It's eye-catching, touching and heartwarming and true to life in my shoes and the dancer. To see it here with everyone else is just amazing. <laughs> you're odd, you're different, you're not like everybody else, so you're forced to grow up very, very quickly. I still try not to plan the future, so I try not to think about it and just leave each day as it comes. My mum told one of our oldest friends, her husband said that we can't go to their house anymore. A lot of times it is overwhelming, to be quite honest, and I'm still on that journey. I really want to do great things with my life, regardless of the status. Even though you can't see the faces, it's still quite powerful, isn't it? It's a powerful message. The fact that it's here, in this public place, is exactly where it should be, so people that wouldn't have the opportunity to know otherwise can know. It should never have had to have been a secret, as some people feel it has to be, so it's inspiring. To find out more, visit lifeinmyshoes.org now.